I'm Sean McCourt. And I'm Lindsay Northen. In this edition of Behind the Emerald Curtain, we'll meet the stage managers of Wicked. To maintain the vision of the director and the rest of the creative team, they keep an eye on every single facet of the production. The person I probably work the closest with in the building uh, here at Wicked is um, Mary Beth Abel, who's our production stage manager. And she and I talk daily about uh, what we both think the show needs note-wise. If it's a note for the actors that's specifically acting related, I always go through her. I would say maintaining the artistic integrity is the most important thing that I do, and then overseeing um, departments and making sure that we're, we're running as smoothly as possible and that things are maintained to the standards that all the designers have, have, have created. I also work very closely with Tom Widman, who's our production supervisor, who uh, he oftentimes travels with, with us when I'm working in my associate music supervisor capability to, uh, to the other companies because he kind of oversees all of the Wicked's in, in that same respect. One of my roles is really as continuity guy um, to make sure that the Wicked's, uh, the Wicked companies, no matter where they are, look and sound and feel like Wicked. The Broadway company is the baseline and that all the others look and sound and feel the same. There's small changes that need to be made in each venue. Sometimes the set is a little bit different to make it fit better. Of course, we customize the shows for the cast as well. But at the end of the day, the audience that sees it um, in Japan or in Holland or in London is seeing the same show that we present on Broadway. So the stage managers and I work, work very closely together to, to try to just keep the show you know, running at the right temperature. The most important person in the theater, probably other than the director and the choreographer to the lighting designer, is the stage manager. On a nightly basis, it takes three stage managers to run our show. We have two stage managers who are on deck, one stage right and one stage left, and then we have a, a stage manager who goes up um, and calls the show. The reason that the stage manager calls what we call a light cue or a lighting event is so that she's able to um, coordinate it with scenery, prop movement, actor movement, the score, the conductor, and light. So all these things happen together, and that all is under the thumb or the switch of one person, and that's the production stage manager. It's a lot of responsibility. It really is, and it's and it's a responsibility that you have to be focused and concentrated on. And this particular show, it has a number of moving pieces that all happen at the same time, and it's intimidating in the beginning. But you know, once you get comfortable with anything, of course, it's 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 easier to deal with. When you get into a long run like this, it sort of is an ongoing challenge, and every day provides its provides some new thing that we need to deal with. We have a, a situation in the show where the two witches smack each other. And for safety reasons, of course, we don't want them to really smack each other. So it's a stage slap. And um, in order to make that look like a real slap, you have to rehearse it, especially if you're getting, like, new people coming in. And again, over time, things can happen where, like, you know, oh, your hand's a little too far away from the shoulder, it's looking fake, that kind of thing. Anytime we have an understudy go on or a standby go when we do, where we do the fight call ahead of time, and anytime we think it starts to look a little wonky, or sometimes the girls will come in and say, you know what, I'm not comfortable, so we'll do the fight call. Yes, I do. Good. <laughs> so do I. I stage manage from a from a place where I really trust all of my department heads. I think you know we're we're on Broadway. It's the, the epitome of our craft, and I feel that my crew is at, is the same. Weekly responsibilities deal with um, you know watching the show, making sure that everything is running smoothly, making sure that blocking is done correctly, um, consulting with musical director and the dance captains on a daily basis, and then of course there's paperwork that has to be done. Each production sends a, a performance report after the show. And so on any given night, I'm getting seven performance reports in my inbox, looking for any issues that have come up, anything that might be percolating in any of the companies that might need future attention, uh, either technical or artistic, or need the resources of the creative team to visit. And that report involves, I mean, some of it is technical, whereby we take temperatures of every, uh, at the top of an act and at the bottom of an act. And, you know, people think temperatures, why are you taking temperatures? We take a temperature and a humidity reading so that we can keep a handle on how many degrees it is in the house and how many degrees it is backstage in order to keep all of our drops um, coming in straight, not, not billowing, and all of our smoke on the stage rather than in the pit or out in the house. On that report, though, of course, it has what the performance number is. And when you're in a long-running show, that's always fascinating because, you know, once you hit those milestones, you know, like you're 2,000, 2,500, you know, everybody's like, woo! With seven productions of Wicked uh, around the world, uh, there's a time on Saturday, there's a 24-hour block on Saturday, when uh, there are 14 shows of Wicked playing around the world. 
uh, within 24 hours. And in that same 24 hours, there's only a 90 minute block where there's no Wicked somewhere. So uh, it's, it just speaks to the, the kind of the broad reach of Wicked around the globe right now to have seven productions running. It's all Wicked all the time. Everybody's here for the common good. Nobody's here to like not do their best. It's a fun job and that's what I love about it.